Hi guys, my name is Keith Johnson and today I'm going to show you uh, how to start a painting in acrylics. I'm here at Martin Hollow Pond. As you can see, it was a beautiful place, good composition. I've been here before and uh, I've painted a small 12 by 12, but today I'm painting a larger 24 by 24 painting. And it's going to take me several days to go back on location and paint because uh, the sun comes up. Um, and then it just kind of just blinds everything out. You really can't see. Plus it changes the lighting dramatically. So I have to go there early in the morning, right before the sunrise, and I have about an hour or so um, to paint. So basically it's all about composition at this point, sketching in approximately where everything's going to be, as you can see here. Um, but usually I start with a tone canvas, but I, I kind of forgot today, so I didn't. Um, I'm using burnt sienna. I really like that color and that's what I usually tone my canvas with because I like the warm undertone that shows through. Um, so where I'm at right now. So I'm kind of painting, placing everything in in the background. I always start in the back or my center of interest to kind of move out from there. I do have a proportion divider that I use to measure everything. Now here I am going ahead and starting with the reflections in the water from the mountains and trees uh, in the distance there. Trying to get everything lined up in a good proper composition because that's what it's really about. If you want a, a really pleasing painting you have to have great composition. And that's what makes landscape challenging so or landscape painting so challenging because you have to find um, good compositions. You know what I mean? It's not always there. Uh, but sometimes you just make do with what you have. But this is a really good one that I like. You can see the sunlight hitting, uh, coming up there in the background. But right now I'm just focusing on getting everything in the right place. So I'm not really worried about the changes in tones and colors in the background right now. You can see ducks at this pond too, which is pretty cool. Uh, they were splashing down there carrying on <laughs> while I was up painting, which was pretty awesome. Also, I've heard an owl up there before too, which I've seen once, but I didn't have my camera with me. Dang on it. He was so awesome looking to stare into his eyes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful creature, I'm telling you. So I'm now working on some of the foreground, uh, I guess, trees or bushes, really, that's on the ground to me here that's going to be the bottom of my painting and I'm going to be on um, the water is going to be behind them there as you can see I actually had uh, somebody drive by and stop and talk to me this morning which was pretty cool I usually have about one person that stops by and talks then again I usually don't paint in like cityscape areas if I did I'm sure a lot more people would stop by. So I'm blocking in a little bit of trees here that's in like the middle ground. Now there's a house in the background too if you can see it there. And I don't know how much detail I'm going to put into that because I don't want it to overpower my painting or I guess draw too much attention to. I kind of just want it to blend in so I'm going to paint it at least right now what I'm thinking about just really loosely and just uh, um, not overpowering but as I'm painting I'm thinking about these things and I'm working on the far shoreline over there some trees and things like that the good thing about this painting is you have you have a little bit of sky then you have some distant mountains the closer mountains and you have the water and the reflections which I love painting water just so awesome and I don't know if I was going to put any wildlife in here or not like birds flying or ducks flying or even ducks in the water there really wouldn't be much detail in that if I did but these are always things to think about when you're painting and you have to work quickly too because especially when you start adding the collar the sunlight changes so quick. It's crazy, especially if you paint in the morning, which this is. It's still misty out, which I kind of love. It's really nice. Little ripples in the water. Pretty awesome stuff. 
So I'm about finished here and I'm going to let this dry. I'm using acrylics and tomorrow I'll probably come back and work some more on this painting. Thanks for watching you guys.